Hey Savvy Social Workers, let's get into another ASWB exam practice question. But before we do, let me disclaim that I do not claim ownership of these questions. A lot of the questions are submitted to me by my clients and other colleagues. Um, this video is for illustration purposes only to help my colleagues that are trying to prepare to pass their ASWB licensing exam. Um, to help them better understand how to answer and break down these questions, okay? So I am not claiming any rights to these questions. I am only giving you my strategies on how to answer them to better prepare yourself for the exams. Now that I got that out of the way, let's get into it. A client who has been court ordered into therapy for domestic violence and substance abuse wants to know if everything he says to the therapist is confidential. What is the best way for the social worker to respond? So I get a lot of clients that tell me that they get caught up with these best questions and y'all the best questions are literally um, the easiest ones because they really just um, mean the most beneficial. You know, um, primarily whenever you have a best question, the most important thing that you want to do is focus on meeting the client where they are in that situation and doing what is the most beneficial thing for them okay so that's what it means when you see what is the best way so in this situation we need to meet him where he is and so it says that the client has been court ordered into therapy um, so that you know that's a big deal right there you know when we have these clients that are court ordered so it's for domestic violence and substance abuse and he wants to know if everything he says to the therapist is confidential. So that is pretty much where our priority is going to lie in the fact that, hey, he's court order and he wanna know what all is gonna be confidential that I disclose and what's not, okay? So to meet him where he is, it sounds like, you know, he is, you know, maybe a little confused or just curious. Um, so we're gonna meet him where he is and figure out what is gonna be the most beneficial response from us. So would that be A, ask the client what he is concerned the social worker will reveal. Um, that to me kind of sounds off. So I'm going I'm to go ahead and eliminate that out the gate because that sounds like, you know, um, well, what you're concerned about me letting people know, you know, uh, what is there for you to be worried about, that type of question. And so we never want to do that. Um, that's not ethical. And then, uh, especially with someone that's court ordered who probably don't want to be there anyway. So, yeah, no. So what about option B? Uh, would the best way for the social worker to respond be to avoid the question until the social worker has built a rapport with the client? Well, um, we don't want to avoid the client's question. You know, um, we never want to do that. So definitely we're going to eliminate B. C, explain the limits of confidentiality in court order therapy. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a very good option. But before I jump on that, let me go ahead and see what D is talking about. Reassure the client that what he says won't leave this office. Okay, so we have this word right here. I tell people reassure, and um, there's not a lot of things that we can reassure, reassure our clients or ensure our clients, um, but confidentiality is one of them. However, this um, this client is court ordered, so reassuring him that whatever he says won't leave that office um, could be against some of the court ordered mandates. So we definitely don't want to reassure him that, um, especially not in this situation. So here, the best answer choice would definitely be to explain the limits of confidentiality in court order therapy. Um, it is important to give the client a clear, honest answer about the limits of confidentiality in court order treatment. The social worker should be honest in all dealings with the client. Since the social worker will have to share some information with the court, i.e. it being court order, the most appropriate response is to explain what is confidential and what is not. Again, remember this is the best question and we want to meet him where he is and do what is most beneficial. And in this case, um, just being upfront and honest with him, open um, and explaining the limits of confidentiality, which we all know what that is, that would be the best way and the most beneficial thing for the client and for the social worker. Let me know in the comments what y'all think.